OK, well, the first thing I have to ask you is graphene. What, what exactly is it? Graphene is a monolayer, an atomic monolayer of carbon. And uh, because, it's, uh, uh, because it's so perfect, it's, uh, it's imbued with some amazing properties. So it's basically a flat layer of carbon. That can do what? Well, um, carbon, the, the, the sort of carbon that you would recognize would be a bit of coal, uh, it would be uh, a graphite pencil, for example. And actually, uh, I think uh, the Manchester people first discovered graphene by using a pencil and a piece of sellotape, and they peeled off the sellotape, and there was the graphene. So the, the applications that we anticipate are going to be in the area of electronics, because it has huge conductivity. Uh, and so that will enable us to do things that we can't do at the moment. Uh, it's also transparent, and it's a transparent conductor, which makes it rather interesting. Uh, and that means that we could use that for, for example, uh, screen displays and so forth. Um, it has extraordinary mechanical properties. It has huge strength, absolutely enormous strength, and it's very, very stiff indeed. So you can envisage making tiny little cantilevers that would vibrate, and you'd be able to then use that as a detector. So I think that we're just scraping the surface of uh, this particular technology, and it's very exciting indeed to think what we might be able to do with it. And the money that the Chancellor has announced today specifically is to get you to imagine what you might do with it and what commercial applications it might have. Where might we see people making money out of graphics? OK. Um, I suspect that uh, it, it, when, you, when you make a discovery, uh, you've got to be patient. And you have to generally, from invention to commercialization, takes anywhere between 10, 15, 20 years. In this case, I think that uh, there are a number of aspects of graphene that make it amenable to rather earlier commercialization. So I think the, uh, the flat screen displays, for example, we might see some aspects of that moving in rather sooner, uh, maybe the three to five year frame. Um, the composites uh, that we're interested in looking at at Imperial uh, would be used uh, simply because of graphene's extraordinary strength and its huge elasticity, its elastic modulus. So I think that the, we will see applications, but those particular applications, the strength and the stiffness ones, may come a little later. Some of the biggest manufacturers in Britain are obviously interested in yeah. it because they're putting funding in as well, Rolls-Royce, BAE yeah. Systems, Dyson, all clearly can see the commercial potential in this. If they're prepared to put in millions of pounds of funding, why do you need government money as well? Well, the funding that companies generally put in is generally in kind. So when we go to Rolls-Royce, we need to make use of their expertise. We need to make use maybe some of their test bed facilities. Same with Dyson, same with uh, Airbus and so forth. So we need those companies in order to test uh, the experiments that we're going to be doing in the lab. So if we come up with a prototype, we need them to be able to help out. And that costs them time and money. So that's, they're putting their funding in in kind. If graphene does have the potential that you imagine it might, somebody's going to make a huge amount of money out of this eventually once the commercialization really is in place. If it's taxpayer money that's going in now, are we going to see the profit? I think we, you know, I think the idea would be if we, uh, you put money into the universities, you get uh, uh, invention, you get uh, uh, devices coming out of the universities, and that will be commercialized. If we put money, if we invest, in the UK science uh, budget, then I think you'll see commercialization coming out uh, in collaboration with our industrial partners. So it's worth it. The idea is to make Britain a global hub yeah. for this. Why does it matter that this is done here? Well, it was invented here at Manchester. And I think that if you get a Nobel Prize, uh, then the, the goal is to commercialize where you make the Nobel Prize. And so the Manchester people who won the Nobel Prize, uh, they are the hub of this recent announcement, actually. And then there are several other universities that will act as spokes to commercialize. And well, not necessarily to commercialize, but certainly to bring this um, interesting material closer to commercialization. That's the idea. And so when will we be buying graphene products, do you think? Well, you need a crystal ball for that. And I haven't got one. but I. I would suspect within the three to five year time scale. Pretty quickly. I hope so, yeah. Yeah. Great. Professor Neil Offord, thanks very much for coming in to talk to us about Thank that. Thank you very much.